K oldies. Here we go. What is up, my squeebos? There he is. There's the man. A gamer like myself, you've probably stumbled across DK Oldies. They've slowly been infiltrating my YouTube shorts and TikTok feed for the past several months now. So, what is DK Oldies? I like his like Aesop Rock the hoodie. To their website, they're pretty slick. Owned retro video game store located in Morgantown, Pennsylvania. The owner's name is Drew, and he started off working in a comic book shop at the young age of 15. While working there, he learned the ins and outs of running a business. Fast forward to the early 2000s, and Drew was selling Nintendo Entertainment System games online. And for the past 19 years, he's been able to build up his business, hire full Let him cook. <laughs> and even have a brick and mortar shop, which is quite the accomplishment. It's pretty cool to see him just start, you know, from the ground up. All right, so some of you might be asking, why am I talking about this random retro shop in Pennsylvania? Well, because it's been a big point of contention here on YouTube. Yes, sir. A handful of videos <laughs> criticizing DK Oldies and my recommendations, and I've even seen it in their own comment section. So I thought today it might be interesting to take a look at their website and compare their prices to shops in my area and to prices I see on eBay. But okay. before we get into that, I should probably come clean and be completely transparent with you guys. Now let me be clear. Hey, let's go. Earthbound. Um, you got to tell Ogden to play Earthbound, okay? Content. There, I said it. I'm a DK Oldies head. What can I say? <laughs> I like their content. For short form content, it's pretty good for the most part. They have a few different segments on their channel that I like. They have one where people get handed a random item and they have to guess. It's kind of funny. Is. There's another one where people have to guess what game it is based off the startup screen. That one's awesome. Uh, has to be like a Guitar Hero or like <laughs> a driving game. Oh, Punch Out. Okay. One of the Punch Out. Huh? <laughs> the person you see the most in these shorts is Joey. So, who is Joey? Well, Joey is the social media and customer service manager. You've probably seen him packaging an item, inspecting bootleg games, reading fan mail, and of course. Throwing in an item. That's pretty so fortunate it's cool. to have your order filmed. Man. Must feel nice. I have no malice when it comes to Joey. He seems like a really energetic, fun, nice guy. And he's honestly killing it as a social media manager. I'm seeing DK Oldies all over my timeline, so props to you, Joey. Everywhere I go, I see his face. <laughs> nice. But anyway, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Why are so many people criticizing this random small business in Pennsylvania? Well, it has to do with the prices on their website. A lot of people feel like it's a scam or they feel like their prices are a little too high and not warranted. Let's take a look at their prices, compare them to local shops in my area and eBay, of course. <laughs> Joey. Let's start off with the Wii U. The only reason we're using the Wii U is because I was looking at my desk before I left to go to the mall, and this is the first thing that came in mind. And on DK Oldies website, a Wii U is $260. Let's go visit a store in my local area and compare the prices. So I start off with a store that sells. Oh yeah. CDs, Let's go mall and trip. Of course, video games. Now, I have to admit, they had a pretty nice selection. They even sold a Wii U. The price for a Wii U at the store was $310, which is $50 more than DK Oldies. From here, I decided to just pick out a few games and compare them to the prices on DK Oldies and eBay. The first game I looked at was The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. It's pretty high price. For the Wii U. At the store, they were selling it for $45, but I have to admit, the case looked absolutely Yeah, that's disgusting. Garbo. That looks it gross. Like. It looked like blood or something ew i would definitely have ew. From that store but on dk oldies website you can find this exact 76 dollars this might look a little cleaner but that's still a 32 dollar difference yeah, you don't need price. the case to play the game on ebay and it looks like a copy of this game sold two days ago for 50 dollars now another wii u game i found at the store was the legend of zelda twilight princess remastered and they were selling it great for game 90 that's insane 90 dollars currently selling a copy for $125. What? This time around, I have this game. Markup. 
Now, if we go to eBay, a that is insane. Ago for I can't believe it's that high, dollars. actually. Now, let's move away from Wii games and look at some other console games and compare. I decided to grab a random game from a few different systems. First, we have Final Fantasy. That's an okay price. PlayStation 2. And That's not a bad price. Yeah, ten bucks is a fair on price. Website, they're selling this game for eight dollars. Okay. I on eBay, and a copy recently sold for nine, which includes the shipping. So it's sure. all relatively the same. After this, I moved over to the original Xbox section to check the prices on a few games. First, I grabbed Tony Hawk's. That's kind of high, Disneyland, but. And at this store, they were selling it for $13. DK Youngies. <laughs> these websites, they're charging $15. But if we go over to eBay, I found it for cheaper. $8. That's about right. That sounds about right. $15. It's honestly all the same. Now, I was trying to look for an Xbox exclusive. All I could find was Fable and at the store Great they're game. asking $10 on Fair the price. website they're asking 8. And That's not eBay, bad. It's all about the same again. I also eBay's for some generally the best sadly, place to go. The game they I think was GoldenEye and they were asking $50 for this game. And if we go That's to crazy, website, man. They're asking 60 Holy crap, I have two copies of this game. <laughs> at the prices on eBay, I found a copy here for 45 bucks and it looks like it's in pretty mint condition. I'm not this, selling I it though. To visit another retro shop. This one this time was not in a mall. Just to go back to the Wii U. Minus World. This shop, okay. They sold a Wii U in box for $180 and if you wanted one That's a lot. Box, it was $140. Also, That's still a lot. DK Oldies sells their Wii for two hundred and sixty dollars. That's price gouging. You a Wii U in the box from them. You're looking at three hundred and sixty dollars. That's and if you're looking to get a Wii U on eBay, absurd. That sounds about right. From one hundred and thirty dollars to one hundred and sixty. And if you're looking to get one in the box, you can get one for one hundred and eighty dollars. Which means DK Oldies is literally doubling the price of a Wii U in box. Yes. It's pretty outrageous, in my opinion. Yes. It is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a oh, few we got an iceberg. That I noticed that kind of bother me, and we'll get into them as we go along. So at this retro shop I went to, they ended up having a platinum GameCube with an official controller for ninety dollars. But when you go to DK Oldies website, they will charge you one hundred and sixty five. <laughs> wow. For this exact system with a third party controller. And they they have That's the right. audacity so to say you're saving money. So third party controllers are definitely not the end of the world, but I feel like when it comes to collecting you kind of want the real deal i've had third-party controllers in the past and i don't mind them but they aren't the best with that being said ebay so are is a game key macari never heard of macari thing, i mean it gets the job done i don't mind playing like a game like simpsons hit and run with this but a game like smash is disgusting with this controller I'm just yeah it's say. bad i know what he i know what kind of controls he has i have had many of those before I don't think it's that good of a controller but what can you expect this thing's like 15 bucks if we look at an official controller those are the goat it's the goat nice in your hand it's the perfect weight it's so clickety i love it it feels perfect when you use this for smash and it's the way one of those is mid it's not the same man yeah, the knockoff, DK it's terrible. does have an option of you ordering a GameCube with an original controller. All you have to do is upgrade your order for an additional $40. That's absurd. $205. This is a $115 markup. That's disgusting. And before anyone starts writing a comment being like, oh, this retro shop in your area is an anomaly. It's not always going to be like that. Well, it I pretty much is, yeah. To find it is going to be. Bundle for $90 as well. And it looks like it's in pretty good condition. That's, that's now, pretty good. The N64, one of my absolute favorite Nintendo consoles. So at the shop, they're selling an N64 for $90 with the original controller. That's not the and very worst thing ever, games, actually. They're selling the N64 with a third-party controller for $160. $5. But just like the game key, still you offer an official N64 that's crazy controller. If you want to upgrade your order for only $30, what? Nah. To that's absurd. That's sickening. That's sickening. Epic. A $100 no. Dollar <laughs> Yippee. DK oldies. Not yeah, thank mention, you. If you look on eBay, you can find this exact same bundle. There's there it is. $1, which is honestly a pretty decent deal. So now let's yeah, that's okay. away from Nintendo and look at PlayStation. At the shop I went to, they had a complete PlayStation 1 for $50. But if we look on DK Oldies website, they are asking a hundred dollars <laughs> for a PlayStation 1. And wow. on eBay, I was able to find this exact bundle for $60. 
So that's like a $90 markup. That's pretty crazy. Okay, let's move Absurd. on to the predecessor of the PlayStation 1, the PlayStation 2, the best-selling console of all time, an absolute yep. childhood classic in yep. my heart as well. True. Love the system to death. At this store I went to, they were selling a silver slim PlayStation 2 with an original control. That's a nice-looking control. That looks like a pristine control. DK Oldies. They are selling this exact model with a third-party controller for $245. Wow. And just like the past few consoles we looked at, you can no official what come on are you serious bringing the grand total to 275 dollars awful I mentioned that i found this exact bundle on ebay that you can buy right now for a hundred ebay 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 these is charging 155 dollars more for a playstation 2 and people so are buying it ridiculous. I, I can't. people are buying them bro they can't keep getting away with it they, they literally can't I think keep getting away with it. I think oh, they're well, going to keep getting away with it. Um, <laughs> future squid. And I look very lethargic. I can't stand to look at this anymore, and I know you guys can't either, so I thought I would step in and just... <laughs> he would st okay. Video. Now, there's one thing I failed to mention while looking at all these consoles, and that is that they're refurbished. But I would still take that with a grain of salt. I've been seeing a lot more videos pop up of people buying consoles off of DK Oldies, and they don't seem refurbished. <laughs> it seems like they kind of did the bare minimum and that it's not that good of a product. So, again, I don't know how true that is. Um, I don't want to throw fair. anything out there. This is just all allegedly allegedly <laughs> idea with this video by the way was that i was going to buy an n64 oh you guys heard the cat movies, one locally, kenny and one on what's up kenny they heard you but you know it wasn't in the budget <laughs> so can't be dropping like 400 dollars just on this video alone getting that out of the way yeah true benny like a lot of you might be asking should you shop at dk oldies well i don't feel like it's worth it. Um, no, yeah, he's right now. Don't you shop at DK Oldies. You choose what you spend your money on. But I think with a website like DK Oldies, honestly, they can set a pretty dangerous precedence for retro gaming. Now, if yeah, you go right. to Google and you just look up PlayStation 1, uh, I just got flashbanged. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> I hate when that PlayStation happens. PlayStation 1, it is the first thing to come up. Just looking PlayStation 1, not even PlayStation 1 for sale. It's an ad, and it is first on the search result. And I worry that people might, you know, be looking for a PlayStation 1 for a significant other, a friend. Maybe they want to relive some of their childhood, and they end up getting scammed and paying, you know, twice the price of a PlayStation 1 than what they really should. I'm also worried about people, you know, digging through their garage or their room, finding a PlayStation 1, Googling it, seeing this price, and saying, okay, I'm going to sell it for that. That slow slowly sets it where people can sell it for that price when it's really only worth like fifty dollars he's right and i might be overthinking it i just would hate to see that happen the retro market's already messed up as is and we do not need this now another thing i want to mention i could not find this anywhere on dk oldies website in none of the descriptions but i'm pretty sure they resurface some of their games um which means they get the scratches out of them and yeah. As we looked at with Xbox and PlayStation 2, games, I mean, it helps, a lot of them were but pretty much the same price as eBay or shopping. Locally. It's not like going to so make the disc any case, it might be better, honestly. UK oldies. Again, I'm not 100% sure about that. But even then, me personally, I wouldn't want to, you know, support DK Oldies as an establishment, especially when they're charging double the price for a Wii U. Just seems kind of wrong, in my opinion. Horribly it's wrong. <laughs> local. It's totally up to you. You're the consumer. I just don't really want to support this. I'll watch your guys' content. I think your shorts are entertaining. That's kind of it for me, to be honest. I'm sorry. Okay. I just don't want to buy anything from this website. Maybe a console down the line just to, you know, scope it out. But I don't know if that video will ever happen. It's kind of sad. I was even, like, considering just buying a game from DK Oldies. And check this out. Now, I was going to buy Yoshi's okay. Wooly World for the Wii U off their Yoshi? website. Yoshi? And I went to their website. Is that a Yoshi reference? Check this out. This is a little outrageous. For just the disc only, no case. 23 Daniel, bucks it is 24 dollars just the disc but if i want to get it with the game case cover art and manual you're looking at about 28 dollars it's absurd a little ridiculous because i can go on ebay and look up yoshi's woolly world and i can find it here on ebay for 20 dollars cheap buy it now with the free manual, shipping free shipping or some of these i'm looking at right now are 25 complete which you know there's literally no point for me to buy from dk oldies even when i try to it just doesn't make any sense to be honest now in closing i want to say this when it 
it comes to retro gaming, it is an expensive hobby. Um, I've tried to get into it. I used to do it more and I ended up selling a lot of my stuff. I kind of just like collecting records more than anything. So I don't know if I'll get completely into the retro market again, but I will say avoid retro shops in your area that are located in a mall. I feel true. like their prices true. are just Very as true. bad as DK Oldies. That first example we went to in this video was pretty bad. I mean, the Wii U was $50 more than it was on DK Oldies website and that speaks volumes, but it wasn't even just that store. I've gone to store in the past in malls and I do know this is anecdotal but a lot of their stores just have some outrageous prices kind of on the same level if not worse than DK Oldies so I would avoid those at all costs I would try to go to retro shops in your area that aren't in a mall the reason why I say that is I think the ones in the mall are designed for you to spend money because you know you go to the mall you're already in a mood to spend money it's just someone might walk into a retro shop in the mall see a Super Nintendo and go oh my gosh this is my childhood and just impulse buy it. And they end up spending, you know, twice as much as what they could have on eBay. And also, I do want to specify, that's what the store is asking. And if that's what the customer is willing to buy, so be it. It's yeah, just, okay. Don't it's true. It is a little true. <laughs> I'd add, I want to add more. Said, please do not go to DK Oldies, YouTube page, TikTok, anywhere and harass them. That is yeah, same cool. here. And don't do don't do that. that you're the, a lamb. I'm just going to say that right now. Just don't lame. go do that. Please. If for some reason DK Oldies is watching this video, I don't know if it's Joey or one of you, I just want to say it's kind of sad to see you guys have such a big spotlight on you right now and all this attention with your shorts and TikToks just popping off and see a lot of the attention be bad publicity. I'm so there's some. What's up? Publicity is good publicity, but I don't think it is in this case. I feel like you got to use that momentum to bring people onto your site and make them a customer. And I get it costs a lot of money to run a business you have full-time workers there's, of course there's benefits that come with that um you know there's a cost of shipping items of paying a lease whatever it may be i get that it's just there's some situations where it yeah, this video is awesome to be i'm just hearing him out because i'm letting him cook opinion. and i get you he's making really good points for an item and you have to pay extra to get it in time so that you can get it to a customer there's situations like that it's just Man, you got to find a way, bro, because there's so many eyes on you right now and you could easily have cheaper prices and more people would just rock with you and support you. But yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll True. see how this plays out. I just saw that Review Tech USA uploaded a video talking about another DK Oldies console he got and it does not look very positive just based off the thumbnail. It's just, <laughs> where do we go from here, you know? I guess we'll leave it at that. My name's Ugly Squid. Um, if you like the video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I don't have a lot of videos on my channel but I plan on putting out more. I also stream a lot of yes. games. Yes, <laughs> the so fried like chicken, the Beyond Fried RPG, Chicken. Um, Let's go. And if that interests you, stop by a stream. I also play multiplayer games like Smash Brothers with my viewers. So yeah, come to a stream. Click that bell, click that subscribe, yada, yada, yada. I'm out, bye-bye. Yes, guys. First off, if you are watching this video, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to Ugg, Ugly Squid. I'll leave his channel name in the title of the video, guys. So please uh, give his video a like. I'll leave it in the description as well. And uh, I'm going to chop it up here, guys. Um, also, I wanted to add that... Yeah, he's right about all that. I think, my personally, if you're going to want to find retro gaming stuff... The best place to look is definitely eBay, I would want to say. it go, It's just direct from person to person, you know, it's not a third-party seller. It is a third-party seller, but not specifically for video games where they have a special interest in price gouging, you know, the, the content. They do take a bit of money out of the seller who wants to sell it, but that's fine. It's usually just people wanting to get rid of stuff. Another place to go to is a, your local flea market. Check those out if they have them year round, if they have them in the summer or the spring, whatever. Check those places out and uh, give that a look. So let me chop this up real quick. Thanks for watching that video, by the way, with me, guys. Thanks to Ugg for uh, making that video. That's a great video.